All right, everyone. Uh, tonight we're going to be getting into a little Edelkrone unboxing. So I've had this stuff for a while. Haven't had a real good chance to unbox it, so I'm going to dive right in. Um, I did order the Slider 1 uh, motion module and the Slider 1 uh, slider, obviously itself, along with the Flex Tilt Head 2. Uh, this one's got the plastic off already because I started. Had a little bit of a memory card issue. Actually had a little bit of a memory issue. That would be my memory for getting to clear out the card. Anyway, uh, first thing I got here, this was the Panasonic cable. Um, the reason this is important is basically if I ever wanted to use the motion module to trigger uh, the camera to take the photos and then in your more traditional sense do a time lapse uh, shot by shot, I could use this. So I got it, it was 10 bucks. Um, this is the Flex Tilt Head 2. This is something I'm really excited for. The reason I'm excited for this is it has some improvements over the first version. The first version was great. Oops, bumped the camera there. Uh, first version was great. The reason I like this one is they added an extra level to it. So when I say that, and this is gonna be a little tough to open when it's not attached to a tripod, but basically the previous version just opened up to that extent. And that was great capability. You know, it had the ability for it to rise up. You could extend it out. Um, but it also has in here the ability for uh, the base unit itself to pan and rotate while it's attached to something, which is pretty cool. Uh, but this is where they added in, in the milling, they actually added in another layer. And this is a little tougher to pull when it's not attached to a tripod. Um, and the reason that is, is this is made to be pretty rigid because when you think about it, you're going to have a fairly expensive device on here with lenses. That's going to be made to, you know, sit, throw off balance, um, maybe extend out over some things. And when you do that, uh, you definitely want it to be able to hold its position and hold tight without it wanting to collapse on itself and be loose. So pretty excited about this. Again, it's made out of a, a really nice milled aluminum. Um, it's got a level built in. And then as well, like I said, it has that rotating base unit on there. So that's that's pretty awesome. I'm pretty stoked about that. So this is gonna go on top of my slider one and the motion module. And it's pretty tough to fold, but like I said, hopefully that will make it much easier a little later on down the road once it's attached to a tripod. So the next thing we're gonna open, I'm using a little custom handle G10 uh, Delica here, Spyderco, to do the unboxings today. And I do excuse the overhead camera bouncing. I have it attached fairly close to the unboxing situation here. Uh, looks like we opened the slider one. So this is pretty exciting because I wasn't sure which box I was opening. I didn't really pay attention or take a look. So taking it out of the box, you basically get your Allen key in this little pamphlet. All of the Edelkrone um, user guides are online, which is pretty cool. You know, it, it's tough because you do like the information at your hands, but you do understand them having it online. It gives you uh, excuse me, video play-by-play -play and a little better visual understanding of what goes into this stuff. Um, so as you can see, uh, the slider unit itself, it is a belt drive. You can see that inside there and you do have another leveling bubble on there. Uh, here on the left, you're gonna see this F and this plus, and that basically is gonna be your friction right here. And this on the other side is a lock. So say you have your tripod, um, you're not wanting to do a time lapse, but you have it set up on the top of your tripod and you basically have no reason for it to move. This way you can attach the tripod head or this flex tilt head on top, lock it in place, and you don't have to worry about it moving uh, as you're trying to shoot. But it does move fairly smoothly. Um, the belt drive is pretty fluid. I mean, it's gonna have resistance at the ends as it gets more tension towards the wheels, but that's to be expected. Um, I do like how I can operate it on this flat surface. I don't need anything else other than this and this is such a thin unit, um, I'm gonna be able to put this in my camera box and have plenty of room for it. Um, like I said, I just love that I can take this with me, and even if I don't have the motion module, I have a handheld unit that can give me good travel, and you know, you have your basic rule, uh, <laughs> motion makes emotion, so this is an awesome thing to have. Um, your larger 3.8 stud on top here, uh, so you are gonna wanna make sure your tripod head that you purchased does fit that in case you have a quarter by 20 head. Um, underneath you're looking at you have some rubber feet and what these do basically gives it that separation off the ground 
you do have your wheels and online they do sell replacement band parts and you can see it's attached here and that's what drives the belt when it moves. So we're going to leave that there, uh, slide it to the back and then the next thing we're going to open is going to be that motion module. So the reason I went with this setup, and originally I was looking at maybe getting a second hand uh, different slider from Edel Chrome with the action module and the target module just because you can do some pretty creative things there. But along with you know the theme, the reason I went with Peak Designs bags and the reason I still stick with Micro Four Thirds and Panasonic One because they're they're quality and you know I know people have come out and said there's focus issues they're concerned with everything like that. But it's just basically use. Um, you're basically given a tool that has all the settings in the world and you're trying to make it do it all on its own without any input from the user. It's going to be near impossible. So learn your devices. Um, but what I was getting to was I like portability and the ability to be compact and achieve all this. So in this box here, uh, we are getting the motion module itself and several different stickers here. So I'm going to have to see, uh, I believe they go on top of this drive unit here. Um, this may be for a little more friction or traction. Uh, that's where they seem to fit. Um, this thing itself uses an LP E6 battery. Um, Again, this slider unit attaches to the bottom of this one seamlessly. And so basically it fits right on top and has the ability to uh, drive it. Um, this is controlled wholeheartedly from an app. And so that app basically is gonna be something on your phone or your tablet. Uh, it gives you the ability to go from side A to side B, back and forth. You'll have your normal time-lapse capability, along with the ability to set duration, speed, distance. So you have full ability to customize this. Um, right now, I am super excited to get to it. Now, I will say this, um, it is a little misleading on the website because you do have the ability to purchase an extra LPE6 battery with a charging unit. Um, now that said, it you would assume it would come with the battery that makes it work, uh, but I can show you this has no battery with it. So. Um, I'm going to need to go to Best Buy tomorrow and pick a battery to make it work, which is a little disappointing. You would think the thing that they sell would at least come with one battery uh, to use it the day you get it. But um, I'll get a little more clarity from the website. Uh, but anyway, this has been my open boxing. I'm really excited for the use of this. And my first impressions are it's made extremely well. Packaging is very nice. And the ability for it to be this slim and compact and have the ultimate capability here is going to be something exceptional for me. So I'm really looking forward to it and uh, wait for more videos that show this in review. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks.